there's a lot of reasons why appropriate cow handling, sometimes called stockmanship, is important. So it's something that's very well established that cattle are a prey species and they perceive the world differently than humans do. So in order to interact with them, you kind of have to learn how to speak cow and use your body language to communicate. And so if people are not familiar with cow behavior, it's possible that these human handlers can get injured or the cows can have a fight or flight response and they can panic and also get injured. And so we have seen from past studies that proper cow handling reduces the risk of cow injuries, human injuries, it reduces cow fear and stress, which in turn can improve milk yield as well as parlor efficiency. <laughs> host of the Dairy Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. My guest today is Dr. Jennifer Van Oss. She's an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and also an extension specialist. She works a lot in the area of animal behavior, animal welfare. Uh, today we're going to talk about some, some innovative tools she and her group have developed to help people practice good cow handling techniques. Uh, Jennifer, I guess first to start off, welcome. And why are these techniques important or why do people have to learn good handling techniques? Yeah, thanks for having me, Bill. So there's a lot of reasons why appropriate cow handling, sometimes called stockmanship, is important. So it's something that's very well established that cattle are a prey species and they perceive the world differently than humans do. So in order to interact with them, you kind of have to learn how to speak cow and use your body language to communicate. And so if people are not familiar with cow behavior, it's possible that these human handlers can get injured or the cows can have a fight or flight response and they can panic and also get injured. And so we have seen from past studies that proper cow handling reduces the risk of cow injuries, human injuries. It reduces cow fear and stress which in turn can improve milk yield as well as parlor efficiency. We also did a recent survey study in my lab that showed that this is an important topic for public perception of the dairy industry as well. So we know that cow handling is really important and this is something actually that has been recognized throughout the industry where as of 2020, the most recent version of the farm program, which is the National Industry Quality Assurance Program for Animal Care, actually has an explicit expectation that anybody who works on a dairy farm and has an animal touch role, whether they're a milker or some other kind of position, they need to show continuing education in stockmanship on an annual basis. That's how important it is. Um, and I agree, it's really important. And you know, in the past, a lot of people grew up on dairy farms, so they were around cows. Now, a lot of people have never seen a cow until their first job. So, yeah. so what are some of the tools you've developed? At, at UW. Yeah, so this is an area where I have several different projects going on, but I'm really excited to announce that we have a tool that's available now for free. Anybody can download it. It's called Moving Cows, so M-O-O-V-I-N-G, cows. And it's actually a digital video game, an educational video game, and it's kind of like a flight simulator, just like how airline pilots go through a flight simulator to practice flying an aircraft. This allows people to practice appropriate cow handling in a simulated setting. So it's available whether you have an iPhone or Apple device or else an Android device, and you can just search it in your app store and download it. So it's called Moving Cows. And this was an idea that was very unexpected to me because I'm not much of a video gamer myself. But when I first started at UW-Madison six years ago, I met with Wisconsin dairy farm owners and other people in the industry to ask them, what are your most pressing challenges around animal care and how can my research and extension program help? And several farmers asked me to come to their farm and train their employees on stockmanship or proper cow handling. And on one hand, I wasn't surprised because as we just discussed, it is something that's really important. And I think it can be tricky for people to kind of learn how to speak cow and do this dance with their body language with the cow. But the reason I was surprised is because these principles are really well established. Everybody who works with cattle has probably seen the flight zone diagram. It's um, it's not really a new concept and there are a lot of good resources out there already. So if you look on the internet, there's plenty of free videos and other programs. And so I was curious, why was there this request or this need for more training on this topic? And so I 
kind of got this idea unexpectedly at the beginning of 2019 that maybe we need something more interactive. So videos can explain the concepts, but you really have to practice doing it and kind of learn by doing and see how the cow reacts. And so that's how the idea for moving cows was born. And so when I started creating the game, I really wanted to make sure it was something that would be relevant and useful to people who work on dairy farms. So from the very start, we involve, we involve people who work in the Wisconsin dairy industry to make sure that they could give input from a very early stage and ensure that it would be relevant and useful to them. Have you evaluated how effective this is, say, you know, before and after appropriate research to evaluate e efficacy? Yes, I'm really glad you asked that because I think that that's really important because a lot of these other resources that are available are really nicely produced. The information is correct, but we do need this evidence to show that people actually get something out of it. And so with this particular project with moving cows, we have done this preliminary evaluation where we had people answer multiple choice questions about best practices for dairy cow handling before they played the game and after. And so far, what we found is really promising. So actually my current PhD student, Monica Ruiz Ramos, will be presenting an abstract at ADSA next month about some of our results. So we did see a significant improvement in knowledge after playing the game. And I will also be presenting at the same conference because we evaluated it not just with dairy employees, but also with undergraduate students, veterinary students, and younger kids in 4-H to see if they could also learn something, even though they weren't our initial target audience. And we did find that their knowledge improved. So that's very exciting, but that's the first step. What I would love is to get a grant to do another project to actually see if that translates into skills in real life when people interact with real cows. And so that, that would really be the gold standard. And I'd love to follow up with that next project. So we, we do have another project with a different cow handling tool where we are planning this larger scale evaluation to see, does it not just change people's knowledge, but also their behavior. Introducing Ultrasorb R3.0, Volax comprehensive and complete solution to reduce the negative impact of naturally occurring toxins on ruminants. Ultrasorb R3.0 is a species-specific product designed to mitigate the effects of specific mycotoxins in the gastrointestinal tract of ruminants. Ultrasorb R3.0 also offers lipopolysaccharides binding capabilities. Endotoxins such as LPS can contribute to inflammation in ruminants with energy partitioned to mount an immune response instead of production. Learn more about Ultrasorb R3.0 at volac.com. This kind of leads into my last question here on... You said that you're, you're using it with young younger people. Uh, how about, uh, have you tried it with people who have experience and maybe the, the wrong experience in cow <laughs> handling? Does it help those as well? Yeah, and I think that's a really good point because you mentioned in the beginning that some people grow up around cows and that they're more familiar with them. But just because you've worked with them for a long time doesn't mean you're necessarily yeah. doing the right thing. I know for myself, I didn't grow up on a farm. And so somebody had to teach me how to work with cows. But unfortunately, I learned some bad habits right away. And I didn't know any better to, to know that they were bad habits. So when we were creating the game, we made sure to involve people with a lot of different kinds of roles in the industry. So some milkers, but also farm owners, veterinarians. And we asked them to play it. And we also asked them to reflect, imagine somebody with no experience or little experience working with cows. How useful do you think that this game could be to help them learn these principles the first time? And they gave it on average a four out of five for usefulness. And we also asked them, okay, now imagine somebody who already has a lot of experience working with dairy cows. How useful would the game be for them to review or practice these principles? And actually it was the same outcome, a four out of five on the usefulness scale. So that was a really pleasant surprise because there is this industry-wide expectation that everyone has annual continuing education on stockmanship, they need to do this refresher. And so I think it does go to show that even if you have a lot of experience, it really can't hurt to be reminded of the best practices and to reinforce those good habits and try to disrupt those maybe poor habits. So I think what we found so far is promising. And so I'm very excited that we were able to do this. Great. This has been interesting. I wrote down the game. I'm going to go look at it after we're done here. But th thanks for joining us today. Thank you.